Your high credit score may be at risk. And we're going to talk about that coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome back to an all new edition of the Sunday Night Sit Down with America's number one money couple. I'm Talit. And I'm Ty. And we're from hisandhermoney.com where we're managing money, marriage, and everything in between. The Sunday Night Sit Down is being brought to you by Credit Sesame. Does your credit score have you down and looking for solutions? You may just find the answers you're looking for with Credit Sesame. Credit Sesame is your solution for a free no-hassle credit score, credit analysis, and tips for managing your money. They are here to help you take control of and have the tools you need to bring about a bright financial future. Get empowered today. There is no credit card required. Receive identity theft protection up to $50,000. And discover a marketplace for credit and loan officers that will help you get to your next level. Visit hisandhermoney.com forward slash credit sesame for more details. Well, we're so glad that you guys are here for another great edition of the Sunday Night Sit Down. And like we said at the top, some of you all with these awesome credit scores, hey, you may be at risk because there is a brand new method by which credit scores are being calculated starting at the end of this year. Now, we want to be clear about two terms. When it comes to credit scores, there are two major players. There is the FICO score, which a lot of you have heard of, but there's also another one called the Vantage score. And this scoring system was actually created in conjunction by all three credit bureaus. That's TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And so for the purposes of this episode, we're going to be dealing with the Vantage score. And there is a brand new calculation that you need to pay attention to. And the name of this new thing that's going to influence your credit score is trending data. And it has to do with, guess what, your debt. You know, Ty and I are always talking to you guys, whether it's here on YouTube or on our podcast on iTunes, we are telling you, get out of debt, pay off your debt because there are so many great benefits to doing so. And now this new calculation is gonna bring home that point even further. Yeah, you know, some of you all might be saying, well, I don't really care about the Vantage score. All I care about is the FICO. No, you need to really care about it. Eight yeah. billion people had to use their Vantage score last year, whether it was getting an apartment or certain credit card companies um, actually pull the Vantage score. That's what they look at. So you want to make sure that you are checking your credit very thoroughly and you're getting some things in order. Now, one of the things that this trending data is going to include is that of if you have open accounts. You know, we have heard in the past, don't close your accounts because it's going to pull on your credit score. Just pay it off and leave it open. Well, guys, that's going to start probably affecting you um, later on this year. Another big factor in how your credit score will be calculated is about your credit utilization. That's a big fancy term for how much of the credit that you've been offered that you're actually putting into use. So the traditional data and the traditional thought has been this, you wanna be below 30% with your credit utilization. So for example, simple math, if you were offered a credit card that had a thousand dollar limit, and you used all thousand dollars and you max it out, your credit utilization is 100%. And that is looked at negatively under the old model. So if you had, for example, using the same credit card and you had a thousand dollar limit, but you had say $250, that's only 25% of your credit utilization being used, you were looked at favorably. Now with trending data, it's not only about where you stand, but what direction you're going in. Are you acquiring more debt or are you paying your debt off? That's the term trending. Which way are you trending? They're going to be tracking whether or not your debt is going up or your debt is going down. And that's going to positively or negatively affect your new 
credit score. That's right, so it is going to be very important that you're paying more than just your minimum payment. Now there are some people that I know that have a great credit score. They can probably get a brand new credit card every single day if they wanted to. Now of course I'm just joking, but that's how good their credit is, right? So they pay just the minimum. So they have a card here, a card there, and they're paying it and paying it on time, but this trending data is going to actually be able to predict if in the future this person might have issues in paying off their debt. So it's going to be important that you're not just paying the minimums, but you're paying more than the minimums and you're getting out of debt. That's right, that's the key. Get out of debt, because guess what? It's gonna have a super more powerful yeah. impact on your credit score. We want to encourage you, do what you have to do. Every dollar counts. Every if it's dollars. $25, $50, or $250, $300, whatever you can squeeze out of your budget, throw it at that debt because that is going to allow your credit score to go up because listen, it's not just about those three digits like, oh, I got a yeah. nice credit score. This can literally be the difference between tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. that you're gonna pay in interest depending on the loans that you go after. So this is important and this does count. So get out of debt because guess what? The new calculation is going to be in your favor. Now, like we said at the top, there are two different scores. There's the FICO score and there's the Vantage score. And what we're referring to is the Vantage score. So that, like Ty said, affects things like apartments and credit cards, credit cards and, and things of that nature. What it does not affect is mortgages, mortgages. Yeah. because mortgages still go after and judge you by your FICO score. And the scoring for the FICO score is still unchanged. But the Vantage score is changing and it's gonna be beneficial for you to get yes. out of debt. Because believe it or not, guys, you don't even know what companies are using your Vantage score over your FICO score. So it's important that you get this in order now. Now, if you need help getting your credit in order, definitely meet us over at our website at hisandhermoney.com. We have a ton of information over there that will help you do just that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and meet us back here next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time where you will see the both of us sharing with you. Well, that's all we got for this week, guys. It's been great. Until next time. Peace. Bye. And the name of this kind of... Now, one of the things that... that <clears throat> is that uh, your, of course, your uh, credit utilization... Another point that we want to mention is that of your credit utilization. Now, some of you all have absolutely great... Uh,